Reason number one, option to change interface for streamers. This is a great add-on, and I haven't seen many, if not any, game do this. You can decide where you want to have your inventory, time and day, and quest lock on screen. This way, if you're streaming with a webcam, nothing will be hidden. Wow, this is awesome, that is super considerate. Reason number two, the sarcasm and the sass of the NPCs. They all have their own unique personality, but none of them are shy. Your own character might be the most sarcastic of all. <laughs> is that all? Would you like a four-leaf clover tail? <laughs> just like in every other game, you probably have some characters you just cannot stand. I hate you so much. And some characters you absolutely adore. This game has that as well. I own the local herb farm. <laughs> Why are there like dots in there? Does that just mean you're you're selling weed? Reason number three, the description of the bugs. They are fun and sometimes a little bit lewd, or at least I see them as lewd. But I refuse to believe it's only my dirty mind. <laughs> there are also so many pop culture references in the description, going from movie quotes to popular memes, TV shows, and even songs. Reason number four, interactive for streamers. You can name the bugs you put in your insectuarium. You can name them after your community members. Every Saturday, the game picks a star of the day. This way, you can turn it into a small competition of who is gonna win this week. You can turn it into a poll and just have fun with it. It boosts engagement. Besides, it's fun to see chat fight over which bug they want to be and with who they want to be in a tank with. What would you like to name your common pill bug? Except name. Leave blank to skip. Who wants to be my common pill bug? Reason number five. Achievements to keep you on the grind. When I started to play this game, it didn't have achievements yet, but I knew there would be so much potential for them. So I, for one, am extremely glad they decided to add them. You currently have 37 achievements, and they are ranging from pretty easy to relatively difficult. For example, you have to catch your first bug, but also fill the entire catalog. There was already an Isopods DLC, and the devs now came out with a new DLC containing Weevils. As the game keeps growing and expanding, so might the achievements. Reason number 6. Super cozy gameplay where you can just relax after a long day. The game doesn't require you to think much, which makes it great to just sit back and enjoy the ride. Reason number seven. Together with a super cozy game goes a super cozy soundtrack. The music is great and I can just keep listening to it for hours and hours on end. It never gets annoying or overpowering. It's a perfect combination with the game. Reason number 8. If you like Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley, you'll like this too. While playing this game, people asked me what I would compare it with. Chad and I both agreed that the best comparison would be with these two games. The only problem that I personally have with Stardew is the fact your character needs to sleep. Which brings me to reason number 9. Your character never gets tired. They never need sleep. Which means you can just lose yourself in catching bugs forever. And trust me, it'll happen. Time absolutely flies when playing this game. And last but not least, reason number 10. You don't have to be a pro gamer to enjoy and understand the game. There are plenty of games that require you to have some skills. This game doesn't. It's purely just to take your mind off of things. This video is not a paid promotion, I just really wanted to share my love for the game with others. The devs deserve all the love and support for creating such a lovely cozy game. Hopefully this video convinced you to buy the game. Happy bug hunting!